Hello, I'm Dr. Beach. Today I want to talk about a symptom that uh, comes into my chiropractic practice a lot, and patients often don't know what it is. Um, but it's pain that is felt either in the chest area or generally between the shoulder blades, sometimes in the lower part of the rib cage in the back. And uh, sometimes it happens after maybe shoveling snow or doing some kind of activity. But sometimes it just occurs drying off with a towel or just getting up out of bed in the morning. And the pain tends to be very localized, or what I call like, like a point pain. And it tends to be sharp pain. It feels like somebody's kind of sticking you with something. Uh, in severe cases, it feels like someone's stabbing you with a knife. And many times, not always, but many times the pain is there during breathing, especially on the inhale. So you take a breath in and it catches you that pain. And that's really the pathognomonic symptom. That means the, the symptom that tells us the pathology uh, because that kind of pain comes from the costocartilages or the rib joints. So the, we don't think about the fact that the ribs have to move, but they do move. The ribs are moving as we're breathing. So as we take a breath in, the ribs expand, they move up. And then when we exhale, the ribs move down. So there's that breathing of that moving of the rib cage as we're breathing, both on the posterior part and the anterior part of the chest. And each rib has a little joint as it attaches in the front to the sternum and in the back to the spine. There are cartilages that come out from each of those areas that attach to the ribs. And those little cartilages form a joint with the ribs called the costocartilaginous joint. And that joint can become uh, irritated and inflamed. And when it does, it'll give us very, very specific pain. So that could be anywhere from here all the way down to here, around to the back, and all the way back up to the to back here. And many, many ribs. And, and the pain can be in the front and in the back at the same time, in which case it feels like some, somebody's sticking something all the way through you. This is a very common symptom. Uh, I once had a neurologist call me, a friend of mine call me and say, Doug, what do you do for costochondritis? That's the term that's used, means inflammation of their rib head. And, uh, and I told him that we just adjust the patient and they get better. And he went, oh my goodness, he says, I, I send them to thoracic surgeons for that. So no need to go to a thoracic surgeon, but it can be scary when you get it, especially if it's in the front, because then you think, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm, I could be having a heart attack. One way you can differentiate is if you can touch the pain, if you push on that hard area that's the rib, and you go, ouch, 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 and that reproduces the pain. You know it's not coming you know, from a heart attack. It's actually coming from the rib joint. So the way that we treat this is by adjusting the rib. Uh, I usually use a, a little device called an activator, which is, looks like a little hypodermic needle with, with a rubber tip on the end instead of a needle. You know, we also call it a thumper and I adjust the, the ribs that way. And then ice on the rib after the adjustment is very helpful for reducing the inflammation. Or for my Ayurvedic patients, uh, if they have either Mahaveda Nishanti cream or Super Sport cream to rub on the area, those are all very good for that. It's a very common problem after a car accident because of the seatbelt. And as the seatbelt catches a person if they're in a rear end collision and compresses the chest, those ribs, rib joints often get uh, inflamed. And so there's a lot of uh, uh, rib pain as a result of that in the back and in the front both. So I just want to talk about that condition a little bit. Uh, I'm, a lot of people have it, as I said. And if you're, if you're one of those and you've been wondering why you get this kind of uncomfortable pain in your chest sometimes, it's probably a rib joint that's, that's a little hung up and needs some work. Uh, the good news is, even in the severe cases of costochondritis, I'd say it's one of the more most uncomfortable uh, pains that you can get. It really, really hurts. But the good news is it goes away pretty quickly with proper treatment, typically a week or so, and, and that condition clears up. So if you have any questions about that or any other questions, then uh, please let me know. Thank you.